Happy Friday, everybody. It's Kimberly, the Duchess here. I know you guys have been waiting on my December daily video. Things have gotten a little out of hand around the house, but all of that's under control. And this weekend, I will be working on the December daily video. In the meantime, I kind of wanted to give you a tour. In order to get stuff done, you got to get organized. One of the greatest tools for organization lately that I have found and that I love and that it is really reasonably priced are these scrapbook totes that are found at Michael's and they're by recollections and they come in white pink and teal and I chose the white for my Christmas tote that I wanted to go and they are divided like this like three dividers and nice deep places and um, the Michaels craft storage also has these great little mini bins that is not one of them anyhow I've got my ribbon in here I got this fabulous ribbon at it's all about the scrapbook and it's a candy cane fabric type ribbon it's so cute uh, for I believe 97 cents a yard, which is a great deal. Since Joanne doesn't cut ribbon anymore, I am I really had a hard time finding ribbon that I like that I actually want to spend six or seven dollars on a whole spool for. Spool for, you know how that is. Um, this. I um, also found these great sets of ribbon. These came from the dollar bins at uh, Target. A couple years ago and I've held on to these these are absolutely adorable and washi tape and here I picked this washi tape up here at Tuesday morning uh, this washi tape is made by American Crafts and I picked it up for $2.99 at Tuesday morning in Citrus Heights good deal uh, and this is I believe scotch washi tape and it's red sparkly. Gotta have the red sparkly. Um, some Studio G stickles. Some regular Ranger stickles. I haven't been able to find single uh, use stickles except online at scrapbook.com. And uh, it's a great deal if you want to buy a whole bunch of them at once, you know, for the shipping and everything but wait and do that anyway uh, this authentic paper is brand new and it's from the scrapbook store in Dixon California called it's all about the scrapbook oh those ladies are fabulous over there love them to death and some Tim Holtz word chips that are new for this year and I'm a hoarder yes I am I will admit to it and I still have these snowflake dies, not dies, blah, 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 not dies, but uh, brads that I've had for about 10 years now. So, and some, oops, and some red covered brads like these that I've used. And, and another thing that I've noticed is you can't really find brads anymore, like designer brads. And these are some shiny wreaths that I cut out on my Cricut last year that were left over for my card making. So, all in all, that's it for my little December daily, what I have so far, um, storage bin. Uh, I'm really excited this year. I have got two December daily projects. I have an Echo Park. <sighs> 6x8 album that I picked up this week and it's all about the scrapbook. It is absolutely adorable. I love it. And Joy Taylor Orlando, a good dear friend of mine, uh, gifted me with these December Daily inserts that fit perfectly into this 6x8 album. So I'll be doing that as well. And Hang on to your 
my traveler's notebook for this season that I am going to do up for Christmas this year. This will be my on-the-go December daily. And um, thank you to Utah Planner Pretties for the great tip of, if you've got like smudges or kind of like foggy looking places on your patent leather uh, traveler's notebooks, uh, this one and I think the ballerina pink is patent leather for the traveler notebook. Anyway, use an alcohol swab and it comes clear and it's beautiful. So I am really looking forward. Uh, this is by Webster Pages. So stay tuned this weekend to my YouTube page, The Duchess of Sassy Town. And uh, I am off. I gotta get to bed. It's like after two in the morning. <laughs>